South Dakota continues to cope with the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic, with the U.S. Congress so far opting to not extend the December 31st deadline on spending CARES Act relief dollars. The South Dakota state government has not completely ruled out a special session. To that end, next week the state legislature plans to host a variety of different COVID-19 related meetings and they hope to get your input. Austin Goss sat down with the chairs of some of those committees today and has our 630 top story from the Peer Newsroom. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted all ways of life across the country. Now, the South Dakota state government is looking for your feedback about how to spend CARES Act dollars. The committees were created by the executive board of the South Dakota state legislature at the end of August. The idea was to have a listening session for the people of South Dakota and for legislators and for small businesses, for big business, for farmers, for whoever, healthcare providers to come in and talk about what what, how they've been affected by COVID in their business, in their profession, in their lives, and is there something that can be done with the dollars from the CARES Act? The public testimony will be reported to the Joint Committee on Appropriations. For the time being, the State House and Senate still appear to be split on the idea of a special session. We're going to have to make our findings uh, known to the uh, Joint Appropriations Committee. And then from there, that's going to have to be presented to the legislature. And the problem there is that uh, the Senate doesn't want to have a special session. If Congress were to extend the deadline to spend CARES Act dollars past December 31st, many legislators believe that the business of how those dollars are spent could be figured out during the regularly scheduled legislative session in January. There are five committees meeting. Uh, the five committees are hopefully going to be able to hear new information and uh, put together some ideas, but we still have to wait and see what Congress is going to do. And we all know how Congress goes. Uh, it's very slow out there, but we're hopeful they'll extend the time period. I'm personally hopeful that they will extend it and these issues can be addressed in legislative session. If you want to find out more about how and where to give your testimony at these committee hearings, you can visit our website at dakotanewsnow.com. In the Peer Newsroom, Austin Goss, Dakota News Now.